In more than nine months since the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, in South Carolina, Republicans have failed to agree on tighter abortion restrictions. And not for lack of trying. That's got some South Carolinians and even some lawmakers asking, why doesn't the legislature just let voters decide? Our State House reporter Mary Green joins us now live in Columbia. And Mary, this could be a question South Carolinians see on their ballots, perhaps. Well, Meredith will. It won't be one they'll see on their ballots anytime soon. But some lawmakers here at the State House do believe that putting this on the ballot would be the most direct way to find out the true will of the people on this controversial issue. We have reached a place in America with abortion that every person, I mean, you know, almost every person who's an adult in South Carolina has given some thought to abortion, and I would hazard a guess that the vast majority have opinions about abortion. A January poll from the South Carolina Policy Council of likely voters of both parties asked if they would support or oppose a state constitutional amendment to restrict or ban most abortions. Nearly half the respondents said they would oppose it, while about a third said they'd be in support. Republican Senator Greg Hembry proposed putting the question to voters in a referendum during the Senate's most recent abortion debate last month. But that push failed, and so too have previous attempts at the State House recently to let voters decide directly. That's a cop out. The, the, the idea that, that we should start having having constitutional amendments for every issue. I mean, look, we, we were elected, all of us were questioned, whether you be Republican or Democrat or whatever, everybody was questioned. What is your position on this issue? And you had to take a position. I also asked Governor Henry McMaster today if he believes this is an issue that South Carolina's voters should decide. He echoed Senator Massey's comments that he says South Carolinians have already made that decision through their elected representatives. The governor says he also believes this is an issue that South Carolina can't wait to settle until an election. Reporting live from the South Carolina State House, Mary Green on your side. Something you'll keep an eye on us for on eye on for us. Thank you, Mary.